then we got to go back and we got to remember what God said. No, it's not over. No, it's not done. God's got purpose in you. God's got destiny in you. God's got gifting in you. God's got talents that he's placed in you. And now God's going to pull out of you what you didn't even know existed. And I speak today. This is 2013. Something new. Something new is going to happen to you. I said something new. No, it's not the same old thing. Sometimes we get caught on in what we know God has already called us to. Sometimes we get caught up in what we think he wants us to do. But God wants to make us sure today. He wants us to know for sure what he has put in us. There's something in you. Nobody can do it like you. Everybody may have said you're no good. Everybody may have given up on you and said there's nothing good there. Can anything good come from there? But I came to tell you today that God's got something good down on the inside of you. And he requires to bring it forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of us have been sitting way too long. And we've been banking on what we think we heard God say. And we've been banking on what we think God has called us to. Well, I want you to know for sure what God has called you to today. Because your destiny, your life, everything depends on it today. You must know today what God has for you. How many of y'all ready to know? I told you already. Year of 2013, you're going from regular to ridiculous. I said 2013, you're going from regular to ridiculous. Now, regular is owning a car. Ridiculous is when you own the car lot. that are going to happen to you this year. When you walk up to somebody and tell them what happened, they're going to say, girl, that's ridiculous. They're going to say, man, that's ridiculous. I pronounce over you today, not tomorrow, but I sense it, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Not tomorrow, but now, something ridiculous. As you stand right there, right now, as you stand there, right there, right now, something ridiculous is taking place in your life. You don't see it. You don't see it. But something ridiculous is taking place now in your life. Can I get three people that will receive that? Can I get somebody over here that will receive ridiculous? The Bible says that he will give us houses that we did not build. See, you've been waiting for a long time, and you've been believing God. I'm telling you, God is releasing it today. The house that you did not build belongs to you. Can somebody receive that today? The wealth of the wicked is no longer laid up. The wealth of the wicked is no longer laid up. The wealth of the wicked belongs to you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, all I need are two people. I got about three minutes. Let me tell you something. God wants to take you in another direction. Some of us have been going in the same direction year in and year out year in and year out, and God is saying he wants us to go in another direction. Yes, you're afraid of the other direction. You said, God, I would go, but I'm afraid. Well, I'm telling you, the Bible says that fear is not of God. He has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Some of us, yes, we talked about last week, rejection, but let me tell you, your rejection is going to turn your direction. From rejection to new direction. I said from rejection to new direction.
direction. Anybody want to go to new direction today? Some of us come to church and we expect the same things every time we come. We say, oh, well, I know what's going to happen next. Oh, yeah, I know it's going to be 15 minutes of this and 10 of that. Well, I'm telling you, God's about to do something new that you've never seen done before. I just need to know if there are people who receive something that's never done before happening to them. I want you to say goodbye to that old stuff. 2012 is gone. Let me remind somebody. 2012 is done. It's over finito. Sakabo. 2012 is done. Say goodbye to 2012. For you have embraced a whole new year. And in this year, God's got more than enough for you. Brenda was talking about the open door. The things that God is going to do this year. Some people are scared of the number 13. Some people have told me, Pastor, it's 13. Don't even talk about 13. Don't talk about Friday the 13th. Don't say nothing with 13. Well, I tell you, in God's realm, 13 is something different. 13 is not bad luck. 13 is not something we look at. But I'm telling you, this is 2013. You can take this to the bank. This is going to be the greatest year you've ever seen in your life. And I command everything that's been blocking you, everything that's been defeating you, everything that's been stopping you, I command it to go in the name of Jesus. This year belongs to you. You've got to embrace it. you got to say, Pastor Terry, that's me. That belongs to me. I am taking that for me. I don't care what the past years have done. I don't care what people have said in your past. This year, Pastor Terry is speaking into your future. I'm speaking into your future. I'm speaking into your future. Your future is different from your past. Some people can't separate you from your past. Some people say, yeah, I remember when she did this. I remember when he did that. I remember years ago when she used to say this. I remember when she used to live over here. Well, let me tell you, your past is done. When we got champion, we realized that as soon as we got him, his past was erased. We soon realized that he let go of one family and embraced another family. We soon realized that the curse that was on the old family remained over there. Because when he came on the other side, the curse was erased in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you today that your friend and your family, you are in the bloodline of Jesus Christ. That old family that you used to have, them old folks you used to deal with, let me tell you, when you came to this side, the bloodline that flows from Jesus Christ flows through your life. And today you are adopted in the royal family. How many of y'all can receive that today? See, sickness and disease can't dwell in a royal family. Sickness and disease won't come here. In the royal family, things happen that nobody thought would ever happen. This year, you will exceed everybody's expectation. Everybody, what they thought, how they thought, you will exceed everybody. Everybody this year. People will look at you and say, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 Koto, 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 how did you get up here? Koto, 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 what, what happened? You were just there yesterday. How, you, let me tell you, one word from God. Let me tell you, you can be poor one minute and you can be rich the next. I got about three people that agree with that this morning. Somebody said, I'm tired of my old life. Well, God's tired of your old life too. 
God wants to give you newness of life. He wants to put a new spirit in you. He wants to put a new life in you. God said there's more for you than you've ever seen before. Some of us are stuck on one thing. And see, some of us cannot see past St. Croix. We only see St. Croix and that is it. I'm telling you, I look way past St. Croix. Let me tell you, your vision, your territory has got to expand. It's not about St. Croix. This is universal. God is a universal God. I'm telling you this year, somebody standing here right now, you're going to see God enlarge your territory. Beyond where you live, beyond where you have thought, God's going to expand your direction this year. Your direction is coming to you this year. You said, God, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go. Well, 2013 is your year of direction. God's going to post, he's going to post you and put you in the place where he wants you to be this year. And I'm telling you, you will overflow. You will flourish in this year like never before in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. Somebody's been saying, I wish I could go to college so I could do this, this, and this because my life would be better. And yes, it would. But I hear the Spirit of God saying, no, you don't need that this year. I hear the Spirit of God saying, I'm going to anoint you with what you already have. Oh, I hear somebody, somebody, somebody get, get happy over that. I'm going to take what you have. I'm going to, see, it's something about, I've got to close, my God. I'm, there's something about the breath of God. If you don't understand the breath of God, you don't understand the depth of God. The breath of God. Remember now, God created man. He breathed into man, and man became a living soul. Anytime God breathes in something, it has to live. I said anytime God breathes into something, it must live. So I say today that God is breathing into your life. He's breathing into your future. He's breathing into your house. He's breathing into your marriage. Everything that has died, everything that is dead, the very breath of God is breathing on it now. Somebody received that this morning. Come on, somebody receive that this morning. Come on, somebody receive that this morning. God is breathing on something that belongs to you. There's something that you thought would never live again. There's something you thought was just dead and gone. No, you're not too old to start what God has for you. No, 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 this is not the end. When you got hurt the last time, that was not the last time. God said, there's more for you. Don't stop. Don't give up. God said, get up. Dust yourself off. I got more for you. I got to close this out. I got I got to close this out. I got, oh, Lord. Uh, Mr. Gore, I'm on your time. I'm on your time. I'm on your time. <sighs> Just like you see me going up these steps, this is how your life is going. <sighs> There's only higher for you. It's just for those that can receive it because the Bible is whosoever will. If you don't want to receive it, then that's your business. But I hear the Spirit of God saying, coming up the steps. That's where you're going. Your life is going higher than it's ever been before. People are going to look at you and say, how did they get up there? But God said, I'm taking you to another level. Oh, I hear the Spirit of God saying it this morning. He is saying it. Look at your hands. In your hands, power to get wealth. The Bible says you can lay hands on the sick and they will recover. I'm declaring over you today. I know a bunch of people talk about reading your palm. Talk about, you know, you need to get your palm read. I'm reading your palm this morning. I'm reading your palm. Your future looks bright. There's a long line in your hand that represents long life. God's about to do something exceeding and abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. And I declare that everything you touch 
from this day forward is going to turn to go in the name of Jesus. Can somebody receive that today? God's got a blessing with your name on it. You say, Pastor Terry, I don't belong. I've been rejected. I don't feel good about it. I don't know where my life is going. I don't even know. You don't even know the half of what I've been through. All I can tell you is there is a God who sits high and looks low. There is a God that knows the number of hairs on your head. There is a God who created heaven and earth. There is a God that lives and breathes and loves you. There is a God that gave his only son because he loved you so much. There is a God. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting lords. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king? of glory, the Lord, the Lord strong and mighty, who is the king of glory, the Lord mighty in battle, God is fighting for you today, God is warring for you today, God said don't you give up, God said, don't you give in. I am fighting for you. And when I am for you, I'm more than the whole world against you. Somebody need to get a hold of Jesus this morning. And you need to hold on to him. Don't let him go. Can I just give y'all a testimony of something that happened this week? And then I'm going to close out because my time is gone. But I'm telling you that God watches over you. Even when you don't know he's watching over you, guess what? He's watching over you. Every time you give, this is what the word says. When you give, only place in the word where he says it, the only time he says it, he says, when you give, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. How many of y'all believe the word now? How many of y'all stand on the word? Well, this week, here we were. Tioni had a car, and Tioni got in the car. She was leaving. She got in the car. She put the car in drive. She immediately remembered that she forgot something. She put the car in drive. She got out of the car, went in the house to get something. The car is in drive. The car is on a steep hill in drive. The car is on a steep hill in drive. She, she remembers, I forgot something. She goes in the house. She stays in there about five minutes. She comes out. She said, oh, my God, somebody stole the car. Oh, my God, where is the car? She's looking for the car. She's looking for the car that has rolled down the hill. Let me tell you, car, when a car rolls straight back, there's a big pillar to stop the car where the car is going to just hit and run into a pillar. This car did not run into a pillar. This car backed down the hill, took a curve. <laughs> took a curve, came back out of the driveway. When it came back out of the driveway, the car turned in the reverse direction. Do y'all hear me? It was though somebody was driving the car. I said, it was though somebody was driving the car. The car goes down. The car, there's a truck that usually sits at the end of the driveway, across the driveway. Just so happened the person driving that truck had just moved that truck 
The car comes down. The car curves around out of the parking lot. The car spins around in the opposite direction. Because the car is in drive, the car should have gone down the hill into the next house. I said because the car was in drive and the car spun around, the car should have gone over a hill into the neighbor's house. But instead, the car spun around, hit, tapped on the little, uh, the, the little tree, tapped on a little tree and stopped. See, I don't know what you got out of that story. I don't know what you got from that testimony. If you can sit down and you don't see the hand of God in that. That morning on the prayer line, I had prayed. And I said, God... All through this day, I told everybody who was listening, I want you to take the scripture. I said that favor shields you. Y'all remember that morning? That was the same morning that it happened. Because I'm telling you, only God can take a car that's supposed to go straight back and turn that car and drive that car around. Only God himself could have done that. Now listen, Nora was there. Nora, 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 Nora was there. You know Nora's everywhere. Nora was there. Nora says, because Tioni had come in the house, Nora said she was sitting there and she saw somebody driving the car. Nora's an eyewitness. Nora said somebody was driving that car. She said, I saw that car and somebody, yes, somebody was driving that car. Oh, yes, somebody was driving that car. That was an angel of God that was standing in the midst of that. God said, I will rebuke the devourer. God said, favor will cover you like a shield. God said, you have my divine protection. You're looking for the CIA and the ADT. God said, you don't need no ADT and CIA. I'm better than that. And I pray over you today the divine protection and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That 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 you see, that danger that you see, that danger that you don't see, that the mighty hand of God will protect you today and this week, the divine protection of God. Rest in your house. And even when you can't see your children. Even when you don't know where they are. And who they're with. And in their classroom you don't know what they're doing. But the divine protection of God. Will rest over them this week like never before. In the name of Jesus. How many of y'all can receive that blessing today? Ah, yeah, da, 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 bo, so. Only God can protect you like that. Only God can protect your children. No matter where, you can't be with your children 24-7. You just cannot. So wherever they are, you just start praying over them. The divine protection of God that he will rest on them everywhere they go. Stand to your feet. We got to go. We got to go. I hope you received the word over you today. I hope you can receive the word of God today over your life. God has more for you. He's breathing something in you right now. And I pray now, God, that you will even get in our dreams. Help us to dream the plan you have for us. Just like you did Joseph. He dreamt and he kept dreaming and he kept dreaming. God, get in our dreams. Allow us to know your will. Allow us to know your way. Father, I thank you for each person that's gathered in this place. I make an altar call today. You're here today. You said, Pastor Terry, I feel like it's over. I'm not sure. I've been rejected. I'm not sure where I should go, what direction. Because you can go from rejection to your direction. 
You're looking for direction today. I want you to come. You're just looking for direction. God, I need your direction. Lead me, guide me, tell me. Stir me in the right way. Send me down the right path. God, speak to me. Let me. Don't let me go off, God. I've been off enough. I'm tired of being off. I want you to show me. I want to know for sure that I'm in your will. Speak to me, God. I want to know your will. I want to know your will. I want to know your will. Not my will, but your will. Oh, Rabbi, we're going to know the will of God today. We're going to know the will of God and the plan of God today. It's important to know the will of God. It's important to know the will of God. There's safety in the will of God. There's protection in the will of God. There's direction in the will of God. I want you to know God's will for your life. What is it? God, what is it? What is it? Show me, God. Show me, God. Show me. I release my will, God. I release it today. I release what I was planning. And I give it over to you. I give my life over to you, my total life. Give me the oil. I'm just going to touch and agree. I'm just going to put my hands, lay my hands on you. I'm just touching and agree for the will of God. Come on, elders. I'm just touching and agreeing. I'm believing God. We're just touching and agreeing with you today. Touching and agreeing with you today. We're touching, agreeing, and believing God with you today. As we lay hands on you, we just agree. We're just agreeing for your purpose to come forward, for direction to come forward for you in the name of Jesus. Don't stay long. Just, just release it. I agree. I agree with you, my brother. I agree with you, my brother. I agree with you, my sister. I agree with you, my sister. I agree with you, my sister. Your divine protection rests over her now in the name of Jesus. God, wherever she goes, you will protect her in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. I agree now. I agree with you. I agree. I agree with you today for your divine destiny, for your divine purpose, for the will of God to be done in and through your life. I'm touching and agreeing with you today that it's already done by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It's already the, God's divine purpose, His will, His will over your life is already done in the name of Jesus. Just receive that today, God's purpose, His plan, His will. You will know it. You will know it. You will know it. You will know His purpose. You will know direction. You will know where you're going. You will know. You will know where you're going. Just receive that as the men and women of God come and touch and agree. We just receive that today. Your purpose. Your destiny. God is releasing your purpose and your destiny and your gifts and your talents that you didn't even know you had. God's bringing them forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands at this altar today. Father, today is the day. Father, I hear you saying, no more today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day, God. Father, I thank you we've gotten prophecy. Father, people have spoken over our lives, but today is the fulfillment of that prophecy in the name of Jesus. I say come forth. I say come forth. Every gift and every talent. It's a fulfillment today of what you've said and what's been spoken over us. Father, you hasten to fulfill the word now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for your anointing that rests in this place, that rests over your people. Father, we thank you for gifts. We thank you for talents. We thank you for destinies that are at this altar. Father, I declare today that every soul that's at this altar will have a testimony of your goodness that from this day forward they knew their direction they knew their purpose and they walk in your anointing and your authority father we thank you father we thank you we receive your word today and for a triple portion of your anointing in jesus name we pray amen and amen somebody say thank you this morning to jesus come on just thank him 
Somebody just thank him this morning. Somebody open up your mouth and say thank you. Lift up your hands, we're about to leave. I declare the very breath. I declare the very breath of Jesus. Go with you and anoint everything that you do today. Father, I declare that your will and your way is being done even now.